we all got together to talk about what we were going to do for NAIDOC week and um, that was the time where we decided we would light a fire and we'd keep the fire burning. And Auntie Joy Murphy came in and um, she, she lit, that, lit that fire and it went all week. It did not stop that fire. So we'd been going for about 18 months and I had one of those unbelievable phone calls um, from somebody who said, I know somebody that wants to meet you and she's representing a family that would love to think about, to hear about what you're doing around your Indigenous agenda and what you might want to do. So I met this woman and it was an extraordinary conversation. It went like this. Um, I represent a family. I can't tell you who they are, but they're, they've been hearing things about what you're doing at the VCA and would like to know what you'd really love to do. What do you dream about? And I just thought, what a question. So, of course, I waxed lyrically. <laughs> I said I wanted it to become absolutely the destination of first choice for uh, Indigenous artists all over Australia, that it was a, a, an environment where, because of the, the multidisciplinary nature of the campus, it was a terrific environment for Indigenous artists because so often within a traditional community there was no great boundaries between this form and that form. It was highly integrated. And that... Um, in, in so doing, it would be an extraordinary statement about what Melbourne's capable of nurturing and supporting, as well as what the community of the VCA could really come to understand better and to respect. So I talked to Annie Joy about this metaphor that I was thinking about, and uh, she said, well, the Wurrung word uh, for fire is willin. And I thought, that that's perfect, you know, because when I think back to the history and really what really inspired me was the history of Aboriginal students here at Victorian College of the Arts was that um, Willen Week or what was then uh, Aboriginal Week, um, uh, we actually occupied space in the middle of campus and we set up a fire. Uh, and the whole idea was people had to camp there and keep the fire going. So it was uh, Andrea James had set up this festival called Keep the Fire Burning. And we knew we wanted to be somewhere visible, that we wanted people to see us, um, we wanted them to smell our food, you know, we wanted them to come and get warm. And the most beautiful conversations happened. And so really it wasn't too much of a leap to come up with the, the uh, place name of Willen because we already had had that uh, annual uh, idea of this, this fire that is burning. And I really loved that metaphor that these students who are currently at Willen uh, are responsible for keeping that fire burning. You know, this is the place where we shared stories and, and ghost stories and, and laughs and, and tears about who we are and our identities and what we wanted to do in the world. And, and I thought, now that's what the centre's actually about. You know, the spirit of that fire that was lit by Aunty Joy Murphy has not gone out. And the warmth and depth of that fire and the conversations and the relationships that, that were formed at that fire have really continued on and become what is now the Willen Centre. We were determined that it was not about, a, it wasn't running a separatist entity. It was about how do you integrate um, um, the centre into the life of the campus? How do you create um, a program around a cultural transformation agenda? What are the elements that are going to make that happen? So many of the things that then became part of the Willen kind of history were very much driven by Michelle's conceptual abilities. Things like the residential week. We established in 2003, four, uh, very early on, and in fact even before the, the actual centre, um, when we were just a, a program, we would have artists in residence. As the artists in residence program started to evolve, I thought of ways of okay, I need more bang for the buck here. I need to get more people involved. Uh, how can we have an Indigenous artist come in and can they start to be a bit cross-disciplinary? One of the many achievements that really stands out, I think, about putting uh, Willen on the map, uh, both in Australia and quite internationally, it's been an interesting experience, is 
uh, the establishment of the Graduate Certificate in Indigenous Arts Management. It's very easy to just say, you know, VCA is siloed, but there is a lot of cross-disciplinary work happening. And I must say, it actually happens at the student level. I was inspired by how our students, um, meaning the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students at Willen, um, who were studying in all these disciplines, were working together. Um, and, you know, that's really exciting to me. And they continue to do so. Um, and I continue to be their biggest fan. One of the most exciting moments for me since I've come here and seen what Willand can do uh, was the spring intensive for this year, which involved dance. Willand has always been uh, successful in attracting Indigenous visual artists and of course, over the last few years with the spring intensive process has had wonderful success in music and of course, particularly in opera. But the occasion that I'm talking about is very recent, a collection of young people, including school, high school students, working under an experienced choreographer who works within the indigenous area. And for me, it was the most exciting uh, moment because in a very short time, a few days with these wonderful young people, you saw what was possible. And I think that that augurs well for the future. Well, it's just fantastic that Willen is celebrating its 10th anniversary. And um, it is something that I'm immensely proud of having contributed to. I think it makes a quantitative difference to the experience of everybody that's associated with the VCA, students and staff and all those community members that you know pass through in whatever form. The arts landscape of Australia can only be influenced and encouraged and informed by what is here and what has always been here actually you know so for me that's that that would be incredible you know that if the fire could take us to that place and it's already happening now on a smaller scale but if it could be a major institution for Aboriginal arts training that to me would be um, great. <laughs>